Plaintiffs in a Red Hill lawsuit claim the Navy destroyed cell phone messages of two key leaders who responded to the tainted water crisis. That's after the government admitted the evidence is gone. Mahalani Richardson has the exclusive. The plaintiffs filed a motion today claiming that the Navy destroyed evidence. But in federal court, the motion was about the government wanting to block a doctor's testimony. Army Major Amanda Feint brought her five-year-old daughter Palmer to watch the Red Hill court hearing after she claims they've battled health problems since drinking the Navy's fuel-tainted tap water in 2021. You know, my family in general is still experiencing neurological, gastrointestinal skin issues. On the Monday after the Thanksgiving holiday, Captain Eric Spitzer, then commander of Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, emailed military residents. I can tell you at this point, there are no immediate indications that the water is not safe. In court documents, the government says his phone was wiped as part of a change in command around June 2022. They knew the water was contaminated and they told people it was safe and that was Captain Spitzer and now we don't have his cell phone records. I don't expect him. Captain James Gordy Meyer was the commander of the Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command. The government says around spring 2022, his government cell phone was wiped as part of a hard software reset. Quote, the Navy has been unable to recover Captain Meyer's information prior to the reset, but he collected key text messages related to Red Hill. We will be producing those to you. They were around Captain Meyer's office smelling the fuel. They knew they had an obligation to tell people it wasn't safe. The government wiped these cell phones after this litigation was already on file. It's outrageous. It's the destruction of evidence. Court documents show a text of a fire suppression water line leak at Red Hill. Captain Albert Horniak, who was fired from being in charge of the Red Hill fuel storage facility, texted he was holding on notifying Department of Health until a clearer picture. Later that night, he texts photos of the spill. The government destroyed the cell phone records of two of the major players who responded to the Red Hill crisis. The judge will issue a ruling at a later date. As for the trial, it's set for next March. Reporting from federal court, Mahia Lenny Richardson, Hawaii News Now.